I'm Monster Mike, and this is Bronco Garage. So I bought a Bronco, a classic Bronco, in fact. And I know that, uh, you know, some of you have already been through this process and some of you are just now getting into Broncos. And uh, for the most part, you know, we're gonna look in places like Facebook Marketplace, maybe even Craigslist, bring a trailer. And uh, one of my favorites, classicbroncos.com, which is a national forum for all the early Broncos. And uh, the thing is though, is it is so hard to find something decent, something that isn't just rusted out or, you know, absolutely a sham. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to even get into something and not feel completely duped after you've owned it for a couple weeks. Well, I was fortunate enough to have this opportunity dropped in my lap and uh, this Bronco ended up being a really good fit for me. Meet Huck, my 72 Ford Bronco. Why Huck? Well, it's short for Huckleberry because the blue is so close to that. It's actually Daytona metallic blue with the second color a close resemblance to Argent Silver, which makes for a bitch in two-tone. And since Broncos are old school and cool, Huck also is a great Doc Holiday reference from Tombstone. Plus, this name sets this Bronco up nicely to one day actually live up to the name Huck and make a fool out of that other Bronco they call the Duck. No one will remember the Duck when Huck shows everyone what it's capable of. Huck started out as an Explore Sport, a special decor one-year option only. The original color was actually goldenrod, or what I refer to as baby poop yellow. Ugh. We'll get more into the pedigree and the Marty report for Huck in a later episode. If you think that's cool, then you're really going to love what's under the hood. Huck comes equipped with a rebuilt 302, 351 Windsor decked heads, cam and pistons, a 650 CFM Edelbrock carburetor, the original Duffy long tube headers, Magnaflow dual exhaust and upgraded power steering, and a Tremec four speed overdrive manual transmission with the factory Dana 20 style transfer case. Huck also comes equipped with a factory Dana 44 front axle with GM style power disc brakes, a big bearing nine inch axle in the rear, sporting a Detroit locker and Curry 31 spline axle shafts. Lucky for me, Huck already came with a three and a half inch James Duff suspension system and Bronco designed fiberglass fender flares to make room for the 33 1250 tires that give Huck an aggressive stance. Check out the interior as it is decked out with Corbo suspension seats in the front and rear a six point roll cage and Huck has an identity tilt steering column and some bling parts like the upgraded stainless polished lift off hinges and Bronco script billet aluminum polished sill plates. I did take the liberty of adding a center console and a Duff transfer case shifter as well. Now I did test drive Huck before buying it and I don't remember that being a bad experience. In fact, I remember it being a really good experience. But when I got it home and I started driving it and looking it over, there's some things about it I really didn't like. Even though I was really happy with the purchase, there's some things I really wanna fix. So where do I go from here? Well, there's a million different ways to go about it, but I'm gonna focus on three things. I want this to be a solid runner driver. I want it to be a resto mod. And I also want it to be very capable on and off road. Now, I'm not gonna focus on the condition of the paint or how much rust it has or any of those other little quirks that a 50 or 60 year old vehicle has unless it's going to alter or affect the functionality and safety of the vehicle. Now, before any of that, I need to make sure that this Bronco is ready to drive on the road first. So I've got a safety list here that I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna see what it is capable of. Now. I'm on a budget, so I gotta spend my money wisely, which means I've gotta make sure that I buy the right parts the first time. We're gearing up in episode two, where we're gonna test Huck in its current state with a few on-road tests to see what it can and can't do. We'll see you guys there. 
Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and check us out on social media as well. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.